Friend. I'm Darsh. Welcome to our HMTF film channel to watch our recaps on horror, mystery and suspense thriller movies. Please subscribe HMT film to watch more such videos and send your likes and comment. Caroline is a youthful hospice laborer who is baffled by the truth of this kind of work. She is sad about the passing of her own dad, who kicked the bucket alone on the grounds that she knew nothing about his circumstance and was carrying on with life out and about with a voyaging musical gang. Caroline feels remorseful about this and has dedicated herself to turning into an individual contrast. Caroline winds up went up against by the very kind of evasion that she gave her own dad when a patient bites the dust and no one from his family is even keen on getting his possessions. The straw that broke the camel's back comes when Caroline observes boxes of things having a place with other as of late expired patients, all being put away in a dumpster, tossed out as trash. Caroline leaves her place of employment at the hospice and circles back to a lead for a situation as an individual consideration colleague. A legal advisor named Luke handles the call from Caroline, and he sets up a meeting with the family. Caroline visits the isolated New Orleans home, which is an old house almost an arrow's marsh, and meets her possible businesses. She will be really focusing on Ben Devereaux, who appears to have experienced some sort of stroke. His better half, Violet Devereaux, appears to quickly aversion and doubt Caroline, yet Luke smooths it over and urges Caroline to take the position. Maybe in light of the fact that she observes Ben's condition convincing, Caroline acknowledges and moves into the house. On her way there to move in, Caroline comes by a provincial corner store and notification odd subtleties around the summary office, including a line of red residue that has been put across the limit of the structure. The weird owners have hung creature bones and other magic things around the spot. Caroline subsides into the chateau and notification that every one of the mirrors in the house have been taken out, apparently as of late. Violet cautions Caroline that she's chosen to bring them down and Caroline isn't to supplant them. Violet gives Caroline a skeleton key, which is planned to open each entryway in the tremendous house, yet she observes a bizarre, little entryway in the storage room that it doesn't open. Caroline is charmed, seeing as Ben probably experienced his stroke in the loft. Whenever she questions Violet about the little room, Violet says she's never been in the room since she was unable to open it. Ben's condition alerts Caroline from the beginning. He doesn't seem, by all accounts, to be a stroke casualty, yet really appears to be deadened by a few different method. Violet has Caroline direct cures to him occasionally, however when they are separated from everyone else, Ben is by all accounts attempting to let Caroline know that he is in harm's way. One night Caroline finds that Ben has some way or another moved out onto the rooftop outside his window, and he misses the mark distance to the ground. Recovering Ben's wheelchair, Caroline observes that Ben has stated help me on his bed sheets, utilizing soil from a pruned plant. In the wake of stowing away the bed sheet, she gets back with the wheelchair, yet Violet will not call a specialist. Caroline in the end gets into the locked loft room and observes a huge assortment of odd things that are clearly expected to be utilized for some sort of enchantment. She likewise observes the house's mirrors as a whole, she hangs one in Ben's room, unfortunately. Caroline figures out somewhat about wizardry from her companion and previous flatmate, Jill, Satisfaction Bryant. Jill assumes that the wizardry being referred to is hoodoo, a sort of people sorcery which, in contrast to voodoo, isn't connected with any sort of religion. Jill specifies that hoodoo just holds control over the individuals who have confidence in it, in the event that you don't accept, its spells can't hurt you. In the wake of visiting the mystery room once more, Caroline uncovers a vinyl record that is named the Invoke of Penance. She takes more time to her own loft so she can pay attention to it in private, and it contains Dad Legitimizer's voice discussing a mantra. Afterward, after a showdown about the unusual goings-on, Violet clarifies the Shadow's shameful past for Caroline. A long time back, the house was involved by well-off white proprietors. 
A couple of dark workers, Father Legitimize and Mom Cecile, were ruthlessly gone after and lynched during a party that was gone to by numerous rich, apparently restless to scrutinize this, Caroline purposes her little conservative mirror and holds it up to Ben's face while she is washing him. Subsequent to investigating the glass, Ben responds with sickening dread, and Caroline feels that Ben has faith in Violet's notions. She understands to visit a lady that Jill has, an enchantment filled her in about, a lady things from the rear of a public laundromat. Caroline depicts what is going on to her and the lady gives her a spell plan to turn around anything Hex has previously being put on him. At the point when Caroline establishes the spell, Ben starts to address her, beseeching her to help him, yet Violet intrudes. Caroline trusts in her doubts to Luke, who appears to acknowledge her hypotheses about sorcery yet in addition doesn't view them exceptionally in a serious way. Whenever Caroline endeavors to show him the bedsheets that Ben expressed help me on, she observes the message is no longer there. She takes more time to the corner store where she saw the enchanted things, and she presently perceives the residue sprinkled across the entryway, this is red block dust, which she has learned is expected to keep one's adversaries under control. In one of the shacks behind the station, Caroline observes an elderly person paying attention to vinyl keeps very much like the ones in the Devereux's loft. Caroline inquires as to whether she's always known about a record called the Invoke of Penance, and the elderly person responds with sickening apprehension. Caroline is currently persuaded that Violet herself has placed a spell on Ben, and that she should move Ben away from the house for the spell to be broken. She devises an arrangement to medicate Violet and soul Ben away from the house, yet Violet gets on. Caroline interferes with her before she can draw an enchanted circle around herself, and Violet drops. Caroline gets Ben and attempts to escape in her vehicle, however Violet stirs and discusses spells that hold the vehicle back from penetrating the locked doors of the house grounds. As Violet rises out of the house with a shotgun, Caroline figures out how to conceal Ben in the instrument shed and she vows to return for him. She then escapes through the marshy in the skiff. Arising on one more shore of the bog, she hitches a ride back to New Orleans and goes to Luke's loft, similarly as he gets a call from Violet. Whenever Luke goes into another room, Caroline scrounges through his work area and observes a skeleton key from the house, as well as a couple of things from the mystery room in the loft. Luke unexpectedly shows up behind her and chokes her until she is oblivious. At the point when she awakens once more, she is bound and choked, and Luke is driving her back to the DVX manor. Violet meets them and tells Luke not to scratch her up anything else than she is of now is. They force Caroline to let them know where she has stowed away Ben, and when Violet goes to get him, Caroline splits from Luke and stows away in her room, where she has spread block dust across the entryway. Utilizing a container of red block dust, she starts to close herself in the house, covering each doorway and impeding Luke's advances towards her, yet Violet shows up and crushes the container. They battle on the second floor of the house, and Caroline throws Violet over a handrail. She falls, breaking her legs simultaneously, and Caroline settles on a 911 telephone decision to the police. Caroline draws an enchanted circle around herself, utilizing sulfur, chalk, blood and hair. This is the circle where the summon of penance happens. Violet hauls herself into the upper room similarly as Caroline completions the circle. Violet divulges a full-length mirror and advances on Caroline with it, while Caroline says again and again you can't hurt me, I don't accept. I don't accept. Both Violet and Caroline shout and are thumped to the floor by some sort of blast, which breaks the mirror as it falls on Caroline. Thereafter, the two of them stir, yet Caroline currently is cool and ascertaining and talks like Violet, since now Violet is in her body. The genuine motivation behind the Agile, who is answering Caroline's frantic call, shows up at the house on schedule to see them removed on cots. Caroline, in Violet's body, 
looks on in franticness at Jill, needing to tell her what happened yet hexed into being quiet. Legitimize and Cecile, presently housed in the youthful collections of Caroline and Luke, send Gil alongside them in the rescue vehicle. The film closes as Carolyn, presently caught in the assortment of Violet DVX, is stacked into an emergency vehicle with Ben, who is truly Luke inside Ben's body. They are to be taken more time to hospice care to pass on. The two of them unfit to talk and incapable to impart to anyone what has befallen them, 